श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम द मोस्ट मिजरेबल सर्च इन लाइफ is the search for happiness all those who are seeking happiness they have declared that they are miserable there was a school in goa when i i was not well that time so i told kindly keep the talk only for one group seven standard a standard and 20 30 students don't call the whole school i am not well but as they don't listen to my vedanta they don't listen to that also so the whole school children in a big hall and i was taken there swami ji please at this what can i do this side small kids in the center the girls of this size you know this side senior students class 10 12 heterogeneous population now what can you talk to them if i talk to these children they are saying no no here at all see then i thought what to do to complain is the easiest way so i said hey let us play something agreed let us all play something the moment i say we'll play something the whole crowd of the whole school was vibrating yes we want to play i said now we have to play all together so i'll ask you some questions you answer and then in that we'll develop one game so i ask who of you want happiness raise your hands so almost all the students raise their hands some of them both they want more happiness and i saw there were two students one from class 4 or 5 very innocent he was not interested one girl from class 10 or so she also did not i noticed that so i called i said hey you two of you come and there was a big sofa set where i was sitting i said you sit this side you sit this side now these children started getting shaky they have done something wrong they are invited before all the class uh, students and therefore i said be cool relax then i said now our game continues who wants food the one who is hungry is it not yes everybody shouted who wants water the one who is thirsty he wants water is it not yes 
who wants money the one who is poor who doesn't have money he wants money is it not yes who wants happiness those who are miserable is it not yes i said you are all miserable therefore you wanted happiness my is two kids they are not miserable therefore they don't want happiness see why we want happiness because we had accepted that i am unfortunate i am um unlucky these two things destroy our joy of life one is having a sense no i have got everything but i wish i had something more that makes a person miserable if we are content with whatever we have we can never be miserable in life contentment is see the source of all bliss more and more we want more and more we are miserable so this is called technically a dinata dina means what no everything is there but i wish i had that also you are declared your bankruptcy in happiness then the second thing is heenata heena means what see <clears throat> i don't have a big house i don't have a nice car beggars can never be happy in life see <clears throat> it is for this purpose we'll take one verse from bhagavad gita and you all know that verse if i start chanting you will join with me karmanne vadikaraste ma phaleshu kadachana what is further i forgot ma karma phala hetur bhuhu ma te sangha astu akarmani these are the four principles is called as karma yog chatur sutri chatur sutri four principles कर्मण्ये वादिकारस्ते मा फलेशु कदाचन मा कर्म फल हेतुर्भू मा ते संगास्तु अकर्मणि फोर प्रिंसिपल्स द फर्स्ट प्रिंसिपल कर्मणि एव ते अधिकार ह्यूमन बीइंग्स ओनली हैव द राइट टू डू कर्म एनिमल्स डोंट हैव एनिमल्स डोंट हैव सोसाइटी animals don't have families they are just wild see and therefore it is said in our scriptures animals lower lives and gods higher lives they are called as the bhoga yoni or those who are in this world to enjoy or suffer they have no choice to get out of this world so the lower ones animals etc they have to go through all the tortures nobody can help them they have to go through that they are meant only to suffer and the gods they are indulgent all the time indulgent but as long as their merits are with them they will be in the heavens after that again they are pushed back but human beings are the only one who have an option of a choice whether you go to the lower life whether you go to the higher life whether you come back to the human life or you dissolve in the absolute bliss this choice is only for us see and therefore bhagwan says we only have the right to do karma many people have this wrong notion about this verse in one college one student said because of gita our india is not progressing i said wow as if everybody is studying gita in india or what then i asked him how do you say like that because what gita says 
do your duty and don't expect anything. Meaning, do the job but don't take the salary. I said, your understanding is wrong. That is not the meaning. See? Now I'll take you deeper in yourself. Be very attentive. Do we have a choice to live yesterday or tomorrow? We have to live today. Any difficulty in understanding? Very simple. We have to live today. Whatever we do in our life, that we do now only and today only. Now third point. If we are doing something to get happiness, like I am talking to you, this is action. And if I talk with this attitude in my mind, that after my talk is over, then you will appreciate me, Swamiji, you were awesome or you were awful. And then I will become happy. So what I am doing? I am postponing my happiness in the future period of time. Those who postpone happiness, they can never be happy in life. See? How simple it is. So what is the option? Instead of doing anything for getting happiness, why not we do whatever we do happily? See? How we express life? Three channels. Body, speech and mind. These are the three channels through which we express. Now, whatever we do by our body, by our hands, etc., if that is done cheerfully and happily, you will not be tired in life. But whatever we do, if we do it as a burden, then without doing anything, we are tired. Like the government servants. They go to office, and first thing, hey, get me a nice coffee, you know. He has done nothing and he is tired. Because they are not doing it happily. Any small little thing, you walk, walk happily, your gait will be different. And walk in a frustrated mode, your gait will be different. So, you are cutting vegetables. Cut happily, you will not cut your fingers. You do it, I will do, I have to do, and you have to keep on doing and grudging yourself. Nobody can help you in life. Such a simple principle. Whatever we have to do, if we have to do it, do it happily. There are three options. One option is, if you don't want to do, don't do it. If you have to do it, do it happily. But we are average people. I show externally, okay, I will do it. And inside there is revolt. As a result, acidity comes. Because we are having a double standard. Showing something different to the world. But inside something different. See friends. Therefore what Bhagavan Krishna says. Don't postpone your happiness in the future period of time. Can we be happy yesterday? Can we be happy tomorrow? We can be happy now. How simple it is. Therefore, let every action be an expression of happiness. So don't seek happiness. Express happiness. Through body, then through the speech. There are three types of people. First type of people are those who always talk about others. Like suppose I am talking to him. 
So I will talk about the other person. Do you know, he is such a useless fellow, you know. I went to him and he was not helping me. So those who talk about the third person, they are third class fellows. Second type of people, they are all the time talking about themselves. They are first class fools. You will see many a times we talk when nobody has asked anything about us. We keep on talking. I have done like this, I am like this, oh, I, 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 I. There is no end to that I. They are first class fools. The wise people are those who talk to the person about him or her. Give importance to the person who is in front of you. Normally what happens? We keep in a gossip column, talk about others, and all the talk time talk about oneself. I have done this thing, I have done this thing. See? Therefore, if you talk to somebody, third person, and you talk something good or bad, we are creating unwanted complications in our life. The other day, I met one girl and <clears throat> I casually asked because I had to talk something. I said, hey, you are such a nice singer. Uh, do you know so and so? Oh, mm, yes, I know. She said, but you know, mm, I don't like him. Now, I didn't ask her whether he liked her or not. But Swamiji, how do you know him? I said, he is my brother. <laughs> no, he is very good. He is very nice. See? Therefore, when we talk, we have to be careful that we talk to the people about them. Neither about ourselves, nor about the third person. See, take an example to understand this. I went to somebody's house, like his house, I have come. And uh, he says, Swamiji, please sit down. Even doesn't look at me. Again, he goes out and looks here and there. And I am waiting there. Again, he comes, Swamiji, everything is fine. And again, he goes out. Doesn't even want to rep my reply from me. So after two, three times it happens, then I ask him, I say, hey, what is the matter? No, somebody important person is coming. Means what? You are unimportant. Respect a person who is in front of you. How important it is. Now this respect is of different type. One type of respect is remain indifferent. Don't go and dig into his grave. No need. See? Therefore, speech is an instrument by which we can create friends or enemies. Don't we like somebody who talks soft, who talks nice, who talks cheerfully, who talks happily? Once I was in uh, Mumbai, and uh, one person came for the first time. I said, hey, how come you came without telling me? Had I not been here, you would have come unnecessarily. No, no, Swamiji, I wanted to come. I said, okay. I want to talk to you. I said, start. And then same complaint about everybody. My husband is like that. My mother-in-law is like that. They don't understand anything. I'm, 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 I'm watching there. I heard everything. That was my mistake because I heard. Then I said, Amma, now um, please go. I have to get myself ready, finish my bath, my puja. I have to go for the lecture. Say, excuse me. Thank you very much. Next day, again she came. Swamiji, yesterday what I told you something I have forgotten. 
Is it a Ramayana or what? See friends, don't talk your problems to the world. We have to live with it. See, if you have to talk, talk something good, something nice, happily, cheerfully. See, so you must also come across. There are some people, they don't talk. They bark. Why you are come here? Why are you standing here? Wow, wow, wow. Are ram, ram, ram. Talk cool. Talk soft. Then you are expressing happiness. And the third is through the mind. Think happily. Don't think negative. Many people have got that bad habit. Always thinking negative. Suppose you go there and suppose this happens, then what happened? Why we think negative? I'll tell you one simple example. My visa was to be over in 22, May 22. 22nd May 22, it was to be over. Now one of my friend, his wife's visa was also there, but was to be over. So he has applied for anyone. He says, Swamiji, I am doing this thing for my wife. I said, you do for me also if you want. So I gave him my passport and all that. He did whatever he did, I don't know. And I got the appointment 31st December 22. So, Swamiji, I said, if I don't get visa, I don't get, who cares? America is not the last word in the world. Then again, after Swamiji, should I try again? I said, you got freedom, do whatever you like. I have no problem. Again he tried, he got 1st April and without my going even once, got my 10 year visa extended again, 3rd, 4th time. His own visa, he is not getting. He says, Swamiji, how it happened with you? I said, I don't know. It happened, it happened. If it doesn't happen, doesn't happen. It is not the last word in life. Relax, relax. Think positive, things will change around you. We think negative. Suppose I go there and suppose the aeroplane crashes, what will happen? You will not ask any question. So think positive, talk soft, sweet about the person who is in front of you and whatever you have to do, do it to express happiness. Don't do anything as a burden. See? Ma faleshu gadachana. You are not expecting anything from anybody. Let us live at zero expectation level. This is my principle. I keep on talking around the world. I don't expect anybody will be benefited or anybody will be changing, no need. Then why do I talk? It is my need. Now this is another important principle, my friends. Whatever we do in our life, nobody needs us. It is our need. And whenever we do anything as our need, we cannot be arrogant will be submissive, will be having humility. But if we have got that arrogance, you know, I have done this, oh, then suffer. See, friends, therefore, two principles about happiness. First, don't seek happiness, but express happiness through physical action, through words, through mind. When you do this thing, you are living always in the present. Can you be happy tomorrow? No. You can be happy only now. So make it a point. <clears throat> I will be happy only today. And you will be always only in today. 
what we do other way around. Okay, from tomorrow I will start my meditation. Tomorrow never comes. But if you make it today, always we live in today. So take this simple rule. Only one day we have to remain happy. Remaining happy means not seeking happiness, but expressing happiness. <coughs> then we have completed the first two parts. Don't expect happiness, express happiness. Then the third. Ma karma phala hetur bhuhu. Karma phala hetu means don't be the cause for creating karma phala the result. Whatever is happening, it is according to the law. If there is a success, hari icha. If there is no success, hari icha. See friends. Whenever we are frustrated, depressed, dejected, only reason is we have that arrogance that I am doing this, I am doing that. For that, there is a technique, simple technique. You all know the mantra Om Namah Shivaya. Uh, you study English medium, isn't it? In English grammar, there are Two voices. Which are those? Active voice and passive voice. Give an example of the active voice. Uh, like she walks her dog. Huh? He walks his dog. Okay. And then now make it a passive voice. The dog is walked by him. Huh. Now what is the meaning of these two voices? Uh, I have given the talk. In this, the active voice. In this, I is more important. In active voice, I is more important. In passive voice, I is not important. Hey, the talk was done. See, the shift of emphasis to get rid of this poisonous I, 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 let us use the passive voice. Hey, the work, yes, the work is done. But we want to show, I have done this work, I have done this work. Try this. We will never have the arrogance of success and frustration of failure. Both these facts Success or failure, they land only on the ego. See? And therefore, the mantra that we chant, Om Namah Shivaya, the meaning of that mantra is, salutation to Lord Shiva. It is not said, I am doing salutation. No. When I salute before the Lord, I have disappeared. Only the Lord remains. Like how will the wave salute the ocean? By remaining separate? It will dissolve in the ocean. In the same manner, Ma Karma Phala Hetur Bhoom is let us not invoke that arrogant I when we talk about the uh, decent quality life. Ma Karma Phala Hetur Bhoom. And the fourth principle is Mate Sangastu Akarmani. Never be retired in life. Keep yourself occupied and busy throughout life. We must have some or the other hobby, and then hobby must keep us active. See? What is the difference between the child, children and the old man? Old man has given up learning everything. What is there to learn now at his old age? Then eat and sleep. And who is the child in every one of us? He who wants to learn something. And therefore, one of the most important spiritual practices 
we must have a hobby in life some hobby and that hobby is not for earning money hobby is for enjoyment to express joy see when you are thus able to recognize this complete picture of our life properly then we have understood the secret of happiness so we are not seeking happiness but expressing happiness give it a try and be happy om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवावशिष्यते ओम शांति 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 हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नमः हरि ओम